So in this particular tutorial, I am going to discuss the GUI developed for image processing. I have developed it for various operations in image processing. So that includes reading the image, thresholding, image negative, uh, then many other means edge detection, adding the noise. So I will show you how that GUI can be prepared step by step. So here is the step by step development of the GUI. Initially, you can use the GUI builder command to launch the windows where you can draw the GUI. From graphic window 0, you have to select various push buttons for the various operations. I have selected here for first as a reading the image. I am taking it is for showing the image and many other operations like image negative, thresholding, RGB to gray, RGB to HSV, low pass filtering, high pass filtering. Uh, as well as um, um, adding the noise, salt and paper noise, age detection and many more. So I am not showing it one by one uh, but few I am showing here. So that push buttons uh, will be used for performing particular operation. So here you can see how that push buttons can be taken and you have to add the tag, separate tag because that tag will be useful while writing the callback function and give the name proper name to the tab so which will be useful for identifying what operation that tab is doing or that push button is doing so here it is many uh, buttons are drawn over the GI so names are also given so you can see the various operations or push button used for various image processing operations now I will draw the axis on the GI so I am selecting axis and I am drawing wherever the available region so I am writing the tag as well as string and I am drawing it now those buttons like lower side buttons so you can select all those buttons together and you can make alignment of it you can increase the width you can decrease the width so for that purpose use alignment and choose the proper option whether you want center equally spaced you want whether same height same width so select it and align it otherwise your GI will be disturbed you will look it as a disturb so for proper GI it should be aligned properly you must have to use same width same height and properly equally spaced then now generate the GUI by clicking on generate and give the name for the file and save it save it so GUI is created successfully this is the file which is created after generating the GUI so this is the file created and lower functions or below functions are the callbacks so all those buttons you can press but they are not performing any operation because you have not written anything inside the callback function so you must write the proper uh, proper thing inside the callback function so that that button will get activated or that button will perform the particular function so for load image I am writing the callback function Mm, for reading the image you have to write UI get file and that file you have to read into some other variable as a B so I am writing here I am read of A so A the value in the A it is written or read in the B so you can now to get that value into the next function it should be written like handles or handles dot b is equal to b and handles is equal to resume handle if you are not write those two functions or do those two lines you cannot access that value or that particular image into other callback functions so that values or that line should be written so here you can see you can read the image so reading of the image and showing of the image is now working properly so you can show the image now this handles dot b it can be used anywhere to perform various operations so I will write here for rgb to gray 
so i will take another variable and i will write rgb2 gray and handles dot b means that variable i am writing or i am accessing from the first uh, first function or first uh, uh, from the read function so i can show you how it works so i am executing it see this it is loading the image selecting the image color image then it is showing the image and if gray to this one it is converting into grayscale so rgb it is converted into grayscale so one by one for each and every button you must write the callback function otherwise it won't work so here now i am writing for the hsv so same rgb to hsv function can be used to convert rgb image into hsv image and you can show it by using i am show function so here i am writing i am show of d d variable now save it and see it whether it is working or not so reading the image you yeah, are reading the image and then it is showing this is the image the gray scale and this is now hsv image so four buttons are working now A remaining buttons i have must write the callback function so i will write it for image negative now i will write it for image negative so in image negative there is a function in scilab that i am complement so that will complement the image so image negative means converting brighter part into darker and darker into brighter so you can use the direct function or you can use for loop also but so i am writing it for image negative so i will use direct function i am complement but that image negative it is working i am working on gray gray image so that i am not using color image from the uh, read uh, function i am using from the gray scale or rgb to gray conversion so that i am writing that handles dot c is equal to c and handles is equal to resume handles in rgb to gray so that it can be uti utilized in the further calculation or further um, um, further for further functions so you can write handles dot c i am complement handles dot c and i am show c so now here you can see how actually it works the image is color image now this is a color image then it is grayscale image rgb it is rgb to hsv and this is nothing but the image negative so for calculation of image negative i am using the grayscale image not the color image now in for for further functions i will use the grayscale image only so i will use handles dot c instead of handles dot b so for thresholding there is a function that i am to bw means i am to bw so that function i am using and in that function you have to provide what is the threshold level so i am taking 0.5 you can vary uh, based on your requirement it you, you can keep it as 0 0.1 0 0.2 i am keeping it as a 0 0.5 as a 50 percent now here you can see the output this is the image it is the grayscale image and now image negative and thresholding so many buttons are now operating and you can work on it now i will move for the for the low pass filtering and high pass filtering so for low pass filtering i am going to use some mask we know that for low pass filtering we are using the averaging mask so directly you can use the average mask which is available in the scilab or you can put the mask w is equal to and you can specify the mask so here i am using the mask which is averaging mask so for that i have one function f special and i will write average mask so i am storing that value into mask and i will apply that mask over the image by having the function it is function as i am filter so i am filter handle dot c i am uh, applying the mask over the image gray image so i am selecting it and each and at each and every point i am showing you how that particular tab works so in low pass filtering you will not find much difference but if you uh, compare grayscale image and low pass filter image you will find some difference so you have to zoom it out then and then only difference can be found out 
now for high pass filter mass i am using the mass minus 1 all minus 1 only center is 8 so i am specifying the mass uh, in case of high pass filter in square bracket so i will write as uh, mask as minus 1 comma minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and center will be 8 and remaining will be all are minus 1 so that mask can be and divided by 9 so that mask can be utilized for the performing operation so there are two ways i have shown you can use the direct function or you can use the mask whatever mask you have so the mask you have you can use it for high pass filter mask or high pass filtering so use the im filter function for performing high pass filtering so im filter the image as a grayscale image and you can put the mask one so that mask one will be applied over the image and uh, uh, high pass filter image means edges in case of high pass filtering you are finding the edges and low pass the smoothing of the edges so here you can see uh, what happened with the high pass filter so i am showing you high pass uh, save it uh, save it and compile it so reading i am reading the image the color image i am taking and then this is the image uh, we know that uh, grayscale image this image negative low pass filter image and now high pass only edges you will find in case of high pass filter mask so similarly uh, remaining things i will write there are two tabs remaining that is you can add the uh, noise and you can find the edges for adding the noise so we will use direct functions there are some other options also but in case of this particular GUI I am using direct function so I am adding paper and salt noise so I am add so I am adding into the grayscale image <coughs> so directly I will write the name of that particular uh, um, noise that is salt and paper noise Gaussian noise and many other noise available so salt and paper I'm adding the salt and paper noise and I will show you what exactly it uh, or what app happens after adding the noise so I'm combining running it so image I'm taking color image then this is thresholding this image see this is nothing but paper and salt noise after addition of that your image will look so you can remove that noise by using median filtering so you can see the remaining uh, miss image processing related tutorials whatever uploaded by me now after that I will detect the ages ages means it is uh, if so this is nothing but drastic change in the intensity so I am finding are the ages there is a direct function age and for finding the age you can use various uh, functions or various uh, masks that is canny age mass sobel mass private mask and many other uh, masks so i am here using canny age so you can use any other mask but canny age gives better results so that i am using it i am showing you all the operations it is salt and paper and this is nothing but age detection so age is detected by using the can you detection?